Good morning from Otterburn. It's almost eight o'clock. I've been hiking, walking for a couple minutes so far. I think I started today at 7.45. It is a beautiful day so far. It's nice and chilly, which I actually prefer. The sun's gonna be out, so that'll probably beat the shit out of me later. Um, just wanna say thank you to uh, all of you who reached out to me yesterday to offer to give me a hand to get me out of the cold and the wind. Uh, I did get, uh, I did take somebody up on that, so that was lovely to get out of the wind and the cold for the night because it was supposed to rain and go to minus four, which was colder than it was forecasted to do. Uh, but I got to sleep in a nice heated garage, uh, which was lovely. And I got a nice uh, egg and ham and egg omelet this morning, which is great. Uh, so we got 10 kilometers of road walking to St. Pierre, and then another 22 kilometers, which I believe I've heard is, some of it is trail to St. Malo. And then once I get to St. Malo, to the back end of the park, we got another two kilometers to go to where I'm camping. So if anything exciting happens uh, along the way, I will let you guys know. If I see anything nice, take any pictures, I'll let you know. But again, thanks to everybody that reached out and have a lovely day. Shut up, I'm trying to record nature. Where would you like me to sit? Right there? Hello. Just had a lovely bread pudding and a coffee. Second breakfast at the Gem Bistro. Which fucking way am I going? Straight, okay. Uh, yeah, the Gem Bistro here in St. Pierre. Just left there, stopped at the pharmacy and needed a little bit more tape and band-aids for my blisters. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have any skin left on the balls of my feet and on my heels. There's been a change of plans. I was gonna camp on some private property just past St. Malo Park, where I had permission to let friends uh, acreage. But the thought of sleeping in a tent again tonight is just not appealing. I want to have a shower. So probably soak in a tub, have a nice hot bath, rest my feet, clean them um, before I start out again tomorrow. Plus, my girlfriend is meeting up with us tonight, or with me tonight. So I figured why not book a little B&B. So we're staying in a B&B tonight instead of camping. So we'll camp tomorrow instead. So today will be 100% relaxing. Not that I didn't relax yesterday, but I'll be able to soak my feet, which will be nice. And now I'm lost in this park. I'm trying to see the little blue arrows, little white arrows. Anyways, catch you in a bit. I think I might actually be on actual trail. There's a cute little bridge here. Hopefully there's no road after this. I'm going to pause the video and we'll see what's on the other side. We'll get them. Well, this is just adorable.
God damn it, it's more road. Oh, God. my lunch tree, snack tree, retaped my feet, took a leak, which was relatively clear, which makes me happy because it means I'm drinking enough. Um, my feet still hurt. Oh, and I'm all stiff from relaxing, but 15 and a half kilometers to go for the day. And then it's B&B time. Foot soaking, bathtub soaking, Hampering that the princess I am deserves. Well, that didn't take long to get back onto a road. <sighs> Shit. Well, if my feet weren't screaming, I would say this is the nicest road I've walked on so far. At least there's bush, not just bald ass farmland. So, yay for small victories. <laughs> <laughs> 